to learn more about kubernetes let's look at kubernetes objects so kubernetes objects are persistent entity in kubernetes system that represents the state of the system the object includes spec and status of the object so spec part of the object represent the desired or requested state and status represents the current state now object types are also referred as api resources in kubernetes ecosystem so if you hear api resources if you hear object types they are kind of the same thing the smallest deployable unit or smallest deployable object in kubernetes world is pod pod houses containers we'll learn more about that the abstraction on top of pod which provides you the scalability is replica set another abstraction on top of replica set which provides you with the upgrade rollouts and all that is deployment the stateful nature of the uh, application is handled by stateful set ab abstraction given set is a special type of replicas of a pod which helps you to achieve certain specific behaviors we'll learn more about that jobs and cron job are the special type of pod which are not long running application they spin up do their job and complete it a uh, abstraction on top of pod is called services which provides you with the discoverability within the kubernetes ecosystem and there is another type of special service which is called as ingress controllers to provide the volumes or storage ecosystem there is a concept or object type called persistent volume claim persistent volume and storage class which maps as volumes on the container to provide ability about environment configuration values there is a object called config map and secrets now the one question that comes up in my mind is that how do we communicate with kubernetes about this object specification and details right what we are looking at is the programmatic way so that we can communicate all the details in a infrastructure as code right in kubernetes object descriptor yamls are used heavily to specify or provide commands to kubernetes cluster what is requested let's look at this at high level so the first part in the descriptor is the api version so depending upon the api version your specification details might vary you specify which kind of object that you would like to deploy in your kubernetes cluster it is called kind and this specifies the object type metadata part of the descriptor block specifies the information about the object that you want to create the important or mandatory field is the name which uniquely identifies your object it has many other attributes like labels and others specification block is used to specify the actual specification or details parameters about your object so in case of pod the image that you want to deploy as part of the container and which port you want to expose these are the few examples of specification now this whole object descriptor specification that i showed you is for pod however every other object type may have a different uh, specification details now to apply this specification or object to kubernetes use the command kubectl apply apply is the operation and then minus f and the file name so you specify which file you want to apply to kubernetes cluster which means what object you want to apply to kubernetes cluster that's all about the kubernetes objects